All right, a little update on the 65. Doing lots of new wiring, putting new wiring everywhere. Old wiring was fine, but dated and brittle. And I've gone to all the other pain to make this thing look factory new. So uh, went ahead and ordered new wiring. I think really helps out quite a bit. Went with these valve covers. I, I didn't like the Ford Racing valve cover. They look right on the right car, but I, I thought it looked unperiod correct for what I'm trying to do and just a little cheesy. So I kept looking around, found these. And uh, though they're not an OEM type cover, I think they give a better appearance. The other big change was I pulled the 65 stainless steel fuel line that went under the frame rail and into the transmission tunnel. It was just too close to the long tube headers. So took a good look at my 68 Cougar and uh, that comes outside the frame rail and down that pinch point in the body. So fuel line stays way away from the exhaust system. Uh, used factory brackets and factory bolts to try and make it look as factory as possible. Really, the only major change is I had to uh, drill holes through that bulkhead. So it comes through like on a 68, late 67, 68 Mustang. Uh, from from the manufacturer it was a little long so i just simply zed it a little bit pulled it back in where i could keep the the, the factory type end bar on the fuel line so re real happy with that takes away some of the problems i figured i would have with that got my air conditioning system getting it all ready all new stuff uh spent a lot of time rebuilding the under dash unit a little more work than I thought it'd be, but I think the end result is good. It's a lot of, a lot of little details for these. I did have that factory bezel re-chromed. That added quite a bit to the appearance. Yeah, it's expensive, but I think it was worth it for, for what I'm trying to do. If you can find someone to re-chrome one of those for under $300, good luck. Uh, the other big change this car, when I bought it, they had butchered the dash and put a modern radio in it, a one den type face in it. I never did like that. I didn't like the modern radio in it. Really, when I drive it, I really don't use the radio too much. Uh, so I wanted somewhere to put gauges. Uh, this car just had the idiot lights and the little factory temp gauge. And uh, with all the performance modifications, the road race oil pan, that allowed me to put a uh, oil temp sending unit. So we now have uh, oil temp, oil pressure, and water temp. And I like the way it filled the dash. Uh, I used a Mustang radio delete plastic plate and was very picky with a a torch and a razor blade knife and slowly cut that plastic and then sanded it out to the outside diameter of the gauge uh, painted the casing because it does show just a little bit painted that casing black and I think the end result is really nice uh, good way to fix a butchered dash especially if you're trying to give it a little more of a performance look it goes along well with the the shifter, uh, the five-speed shifter. Uh, really look forward to finishing the interior up, getting the seat back in it. Got a little more wiring to do under the dash, and we should be through there. So, got to get a radiator in it. I want to paint it to make it look factory correct. I got an aluminum radiator. I want to paint the tank uh, satin black, epoxy, uh, like I did the rest of the engine bay. And... Uh, I've got to repaint the front valves. It was chipped up and was the only thing that looked kind of, you know, a little road weary. 
with the rest of the paint looking so nice. So I'm going to repaint it and uh, get that front end back together. So it's just a matter of having the time to complete a few tasks and should have it running. So we'll do a video uh, once it's up and going and uh, all together. Till then, take care.